the circumstances with this new baby owl are that he was found in a garage and the person who found him thought he was lost or abandoned by his parents and took him in and started feeding him clean meat. These are carnivorous birds, but they need a whole animal diet, so they need the bones, the fur, the meat. And then the other important thing is, since he's a young bird, he's imprinting on what to hunt out in the wild. So if he's been fed just plain elk meat or, or chicken meat, he's not going to look for the right things out in the wild. Here at Teton Raptor Center, we'll feed him a variety of things, including mice, chicks, rats, quail, um, rabbit, and all of those things will have all the parts that are healthy for a, a growing great horned owl. This morning the owlet looked great and we actually changed the enclosure around a little bit. We gave the bird some lower perches to climb on and climb upward like what he would do out in the wild. And the adult was released back into the enclosure with the baby and did just fine kind of sharing the enclosure with the new bird. We gave them lots to eat in lots of different locations so that the adult didn't feel competitive with the baby for the food. And the baby ate seven mice this morning and he will be getting a few more this afternoon and then some more in the evening to make sure he gets all the nutrition he needs to continue growing and learning how to be an owl. When great horned owl 5-4 was admitted to TRC, it was super important to find an active nest as swiftly as possible in order to set the owlet up for the best chance of success in the wild. Most nesting raptors tend to nest far from areas of human activity, making it kind of difficult to find active nest sites. Through the power of collaboration, great horned owl 5-4 was successfully re-nested on May 10th. Being able to see this young bird back in a nest was an extremely fulfilling and rewarding experience as a wildlife rehabber. There comes Mama. It's not often that we're able to witness such extraordinary success stories. So having this opportunity to watch the bird looks so comfortable and confident in his nest with his two new siblings, makes all the long hours and late nights worth it.